This is Beartooth NBC, news for you at 10. A Billings man is alive after falling out of a 12-story hotel window, and firefighters make headway on the West Riverside fire. Good evening, and thank you for joining us here for Beartooth News at 10. I'm Jess Armstrong. According to the incident command team, a quarter of the West Riverside fire east of Missoula is now contained. Late this afternoon, crews made significant progress on the western edge of the blaze, and now they're working their way north and east. 500 firefighters are working the fire, which now spans 2,100 acres. Commanders say the biggest challenge is along the eastern flank, where rough, steep terrain makes moving around difficult. We're just trying to get in there and scout that out and figure out where we're going to put folks and, and how we're going to go ahead and try to secure that edge. For continuous updates on the wildfires, go to our website, BeartoothNBC.com. A driver was charged with driving under the influence this morning after he rolled his vehicle on a frontage road. The Highway Patrol says the driver had a blood alcohol content of more than one and a half times the legal limit. The sergeant on scene says the man drifted into the left-hand lane and off the side of the road, where he knocked down multiple fence posts. The driver then overcorrected and went back across and over the other side of the road when his vehicle rolled in the drainage ditch. The Montana Department of Transportation is increasing law enforcement patrols through the end of Labor Day weekend in an effort to cut down on impaired driving incidents during holiday travel. Officials say although most Montanans are responsible, those who drive recklessly put everyone at risk. We still have that small percentage that take risks. They're either too tired, they're trying to get to their destination five minutes faster, or they're consuming alcohol or drugs. So if we can eliminate those three things, that'll ensure everybody has a safe holiday weekend. MDT says drivers should always wear their seatbelts, drive defensively, and designate a sober driver if they will be drinking. An 18-year-old man ran out of the 12th story of a Crown Plaza hotel in Billings today. A police report says the man entered a room that was being cleaned at about 11.15. He ran through the room, crashed through the window, and fell about seven stories, landing on the roof of a Starbucks. Witnesses on scene shared their reactions. Shock could be seen on the faces of people in Billings Friday afternoon. We heard like a crashing noise, like an accident, but it wasn't. It was the sound of a man falling several stories and landing just feet above him. Officers could be seen looking out the window midway up the 22-story building and on the terrace above the lobby. The sound of a man being taken off in an ambulance is a far cry from the wedding bells this family was hoping to hear today. Because we're here for a wedding, so it's like we're all happy and excited. They're getting married today at 5 o'clock, so it's kind of, and we're in this hotel, so it's kind of sad. Heidi Chico heard the man fall and rushed to the window. I'm nosy and I wanted to go look and I did not want to shake it. Right where he landed, in between my room, our room, and my other grandson's room. We just got in and we looked out and that's where we see the paramedics and the stretcher and all that. Yeah, there was blood, there was glass everywhere. A gory scene for anyone, but there may be hope for the man who fell. His torso was twisted, his arms were moving and he was alive. Police say there is no reason to suspect foul play at this time. The ExxonMobil pipeline company has received state approval to replace the broken pipeline that leaked into the Yellowstone River. Montana's Department of Natural Resources and Conservation announced that it has issued a temporary construction license for a replacement line. The new line will be drilled at least 40 feet beneath the riverbed, where the ruptured line had only been buried 5 feet underground. Construction is expected to last a month. Hurricane Irene is set to hit North Carolina tomorrow morning. Even if the hurricane doesn't make landfall, many states will be hit with high winds and heavy rains as far north as Maine. New York City officials have ordered mandatory evacuations for the first time ever, and the entire subway system will be shut down. NBC's Steve Handelsman shows us how people along the East Coast are getting ready for the first hurricane in decades. Vacationers evacuating East Coast resorts will be safer but many will not escape the hurricane's effects. This is not like anything you've seen before. Getting ready in Annapolis, Maryland, Irene's winds will rake the Chesapeake Bay and inland up to Washington, D.C. A lot of trees down, a lot of power lines down, a heavy rain, lots of localized flooding. Sunday's dedication in Washington of the Martin Luther King Memorial is postponed. While it's disappointing, it's uh, absolutely understandable. Across the bay on the Delmarva Peninsula, they're pulling out boats. 
and boarding up buildings. If Irene stays on course, Delaware is in trouble. The damage will be unlike anything seen in the state for more than 50 years. Do not take this lightly. Today is the day to act. Many have no choice. Evacuations were ordered from Delaware and Maryland beaches. Down the bay in Virginia, surfers had fun, but tomorrow could be dangerous for miles inland. Up to a million people in eastern and southeastern Virginia will experience hurricane force winds. Up the coast, New Jersey's getting ready, and New York City is ordering its first ever evacuation, mandatory from the many buildings along the Hudson and East Rivers. We're also moving up the time that we want everybody out, and that is by 5 p.m. tomorrow, Saturday. Millions are taking precautions on the last nice day before the hurricane hits. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News, Washington. The American Red Cross has already started to deploy volunteers nationwide to help people on the East Coast. Plains-based Montana Red Cross volunteer Robert Heckman will be the first volunteer deployed from Montana. The American Red Cross is also experiencing a critical need for blood throughout the country. Donor Recruitment Representative Marcy Duthie says while school was out and people were busy with activities in the summer, there were fewer donations. She says increased need in the summer also contributes to the shortage. There's a lot of people busy with activities, um, you know, that can sometimes cause accidents, and that's why it's really important that we do have adequate blood supply, especially for our emergency rooms where O negative right now is um, especially needed. The Red Cross will host another blood drive at St. Peter's Hospital next Wednesday. The Helena Firefighters Local Number 448 walked the intersection of Last Chance Gulch and Lindell Avenue today, asking people to fill their boots for a cause. It's all in an effort to raise money for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. MDA coordinator for the Helena Fire Department, Doug Fisher, says the best part is seeing where the donations go. This year, kids with MD went camping in the Sealy Swan area. And they have activities, there's learning sessions. So you then you get to have a chance to interact with the kids one-on-one -on -one and see the things that they get to do from these donations that they wouldn't have got to do without them. Today's donations will be used for research and medical treatments. Time for our first look at the weather with our meteorologist, Ellen Baca. Ellen, what do we have in store for the weekend? Well, you know, the string of 90 degree days that we've just been hanging on to, well, it looks like we're going to hang on to those well into next work week. So the heat is on and I'll let you know exactly what to expect coming up. First, let's take a look at your Rutgers Furniture Hotshot Shot of the Night. We've been getting some great ones. Here's a few really beautiful ones sent in by Carl Arnold when he was hiking out near Rim and I. This is the Utah State Flower and then this one, a mountain grouse. We're looking for your pictures, so log on to BeartoothNBC.com. Click the Hot Shots button on the main page. Right now outside, we're in the 70s. Still ahead on Beartooth News at 10, when was the last time you looked at the Montana skies? Astrophysicist Kelly Klein returns to Beartooth NBC with a look at Vega next. Portions of tonight's news are brought to you by Big Sky Plumbing. When you need a plumber you can trust, call 443-0336. Call the Big Sky Guys. Toyota's nationwide clearance event is on. It's your chance to take advantage of the summer's best selection and the year's biggest deals on your favorite Toyota models, including the popular Camry, the best-selling car in America. Drive a new Camry now with 0% financing plus 500 cash or 1,000 cash back. Plus, every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, a complimentary maintenance plan with roadside assistance. Toyota's nationwide clearance event in soon. Hurry in before time runs out. Used to be that to get a great deal on pizza, you clipped and clipped. But not anymore, because we have great deals on Pizza Hut pizzas every day. With pizzas starting at just $10. That's right, a delicious Pizza Hut pizza now starts at only $10. And you don't need a coupon or some special TV deal. It's our everyday low price for Pizza Hut pizzas. So put those scissors away and get down to Pizza Hut today for a pizza starting at $10. Now found at your local Pizza Hut. Attention gun owners, hunters, and shooters. Bring the family and enjoy good food, fun, and prizes at the Friends of the NRA Dinner September 15th. Attend a live auction of commemorative firearms and other exciting merchandise with proceeds promoting shooting sports and responsible gun ownership statewide. It's the Friends of the NRA Dinner, Thursday, September 15th at 5.30 at the Gateway Center. 
Tickets available at Capital Sports, Jackson Creek Saloon, or online at friendsofnra.org. Buckle up, Montana. Life is a ride you want to stay on. Send a buckle up reminder to a friend at plantolive.mt.gov. You're watching Beartooth News at 10 with Kristen Price. Welcome back. I'm Jess Armstrong in for Kristen Price tonight. It's time to turn an eye to the sky, Montana skies that is, as a favorite Beartooth NBC segment returns. Here's Carroll College's astrophysics professor, Dr. Kelly Klein, with a look at Vega. Good evening. If you go outside tonight and look up, straight up, you'll find a nice bright star almost directly overhead. That star is called Vega, and Vega is part of the tiny constellation Lyra. If you start at Vega and look down to the east, you'll find the constellation Cygnus the Swan nearby. The brightest star in Cygnus is called Deneb, which is at the tail of the swan. Then you can see wings stretched out on either side and a long neck leading the way as the swan flies past. Now, Vega is an amazing star, and one of the closest, too. It takes only 25 years for light to travel here from Vega. Now, it's hard to see it from in town, but out in the country, you can see that Vega is slightly blue in color. That's because Vega is hot. The surface of our sun is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, but Vega is about 15,000 degrees. Why is it so hot? That's because Vega's a big star, more than twice as massive as our sun. If you put Vega right next to our sun, it would look something like uh, this. But the craziest thing about Vega is that it spins at a fantastic speed. Our sun rotates on its axis, spinning around once every month. But Vega spins around once every 12 hours. The equator of this star is moving at a speed of 200 miles per second. Why? What makes this star spin at such great speed? No one knows. Vega's huge rotation speed is one of the fascinating unsolved mysteries out there. Our universe is big and it's amazing how quickly we reach the limits of human knowledge. And that's something to think about when you look at Vega directly overhead up in our beautiful Montana skies. And now it's time to take a look and see who's up for adoption at the Lewis and Clark Humane Society. Lady is a three-year-old spayed female lab. She was turned in by her owner along with her sister, Princess. Lady and Princess share a special bond and could be adopted as a pair. Lady needs some help with her obedience training, but that would also help her bond with her new owner. To adopt Lady or any other pet, call the Lewis and Clark County Humane Society at 442-1660. And Ellen will be back with your complete weekend for forecast, but first, here's a look at your Valley Bank Business Report and this week's web poll question. 